This is the meta defense to use in Madden 23 that no one knows about. It shuts down the run. It's instant sacks all game. It gets so many turnovers, no one will want to play with you. So if you want to see what overpowered defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to show you some plays out of my Denver Broncos defensive ebook. And in this first game, I'm going to be using my Baltimore Ravens offense. If you guys Whoa. like this content and want to see more, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. But if you want to see more plays right now from this or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment. You can download them instantly to your phone, computer, or have them sent to the email of your choice. In this first game, I chose the Ravens so I could run with Lamar, but on the second play of the game, he puts the ball on the ground and it almost goes for a touchdown boy that escalated quickly since i'm inside the red zone already i'm going to start this game in my red zone defense to cover four quarters from the three four odd i recently broke this defense down in the gameplay as well as it's probably the best run defense in the game so if you guys want to see that video I'll have a link in the description as well as a pop-up on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that on the first play he runs a stretch and gets shut down for a loss down second and 12 he tries it again and gets nothing but on third and 12 I switch over to the Overstorm Brave meta, but I get no pressure and he beats me with a crossing route to get inside the 10. Then on first and goal, I try using a different setup and he beats me with a simple read option. As this guy plays just like the real Giants, only running the ball with Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley to take a quick 7-0 lead. Back on offense, things aren't going very well as he gets me to a quick 4th and 4th from my own 31 and I have to go for it. So I'm going to use one of my favorite plays in the entire game, the escape play from the gun normal Y off close. As pretty much every route here will get open. This is another play that I've broken down in previous videos, linked in the description. My first read is the running back, but he sits on that. So I go to my next read, which is the tight end, and he is wide open. Oh, one of my favorite adjustments is to motion in this receiver and put him on a zig to mirror the running back. And he gets wide open for another big catch and run against his man zero blitz as we get inside the red zone. Really just two plays. I come out in this play one more time and he switches over to the cover two to try to stop the outside route. So I decided to go right up the middle to tie up the game as I really only ran that play the entire drive. Back on defense, he is still in run look. So I am still in my cover four quarters. But on the first play, it doesn't even matter as he gets outside of everyone. Houston, we have a problem. I would have taken it to the house if not for Marcus Peters coming out of nowhere to save the touchdown. I switch back over the Overstorm Brave again, though, and it fails me the exact same way as the biggest issue is it leaves the running back uncovered and he walks it in for a score in just three plays. Back on offense, I picked this team to run with Lamar, so I'm going to switch over to my gun empty quads offense, then I'm going to run this entire drive. My favorite play is the QB Blast, and on the first play, I go 20 yards almost into enemy territory. I run the hurry up, and now I am just dissecting him with short passes, as he's more concerned with stopping the quarterback run, as we go right down the field again on another easy catch and run, getting into the red zone in just a few plays. Once inside the 10 though, he shuts down the quarterback blast run and essentially forces a fourth and goal situation that I have to go for. Pre-snap, I see a lot of space on the left side of the field, so I put him on a quick slant and squeeze it in a tight window right in front of the safety to take the lead. On defense, now that you saw how easily my opponent shredded these other defenses, I'm going to show you the defense that this video is about, and that is the quarters 137 under smoke. And even though my opponent is coming out in what is essentially a goal line set, I'm going to choose this much smaller defense and still shut down whatever he runs. I'm only going to make one single adjustment every single play to set up this defense, and that is the pinch the defense, which is hitting the RBR1 button and down on the left stick. And I'm only doing this to bring the blitzing cornerback closer to the line of scrimmage. Every other adjustment I will make based on what I see on offense or what my opponent is doing, which I will be going over throughout the video. On the first play though, he must think he can overpower this defense inside, but he only gets three yards. Then he hurries me up to keep me in it, but everything is locked up as he runs out of bounds for a two-yard gain. Then on third and five, the pressure forces a bad throw. <laughs> 
Oh, and he decides to go for it from his own 30 yard line. As once again, everything is locked up. He rolls into a sack, <laughs> forcing a turnover on downs before calling a timeout and rage quitting. See ya. In the next game, I switch back to my Saints offensive ebook as definitely still my favorite playbook. And I can pretty much run my gun stack Y flex offense the entire game. I actually have some new plays to add to this offense that I plan on putting out in tomorrow's video. So hit the like button if you guys want to see that. On the first play, I see he's in a defense with no second level defender. So I switched it to the inside zone as I know it will run right through defenses like this. Then I start to run the hurry up offense, even though I really don't have an advantage. I know that I can run right through this thin line of defense. Since I only have five linemen, he has six guys in the box. I decide to motion in my tight end to even the score. Then I methodically just walk right down the field with big chunk runs one after the next, waiting for him to either call a timeout change defenses or my running back to pass out from exhaustion. I noticed that Miles is definitely slowing down, but I don't want to lose this advantage, so I try a few wheel routes to see if I could score that way, but he's just way too tired. So at first and goal from the three, I go back to the huddle for some stamina. I try to rotate through the formations, which is a stamina cheat that I went over in a previous tips and tricks video, also link in the description, but it's not enough to bring him back into the game. But when I come back out of the huddle, this dude is still in that horrible run defense, allowing me just to walk into the end zone on the next play with the backup running back. Real talk though, Kelsey was serving up pancakes like Prince after a basketball game that entire drive. Well, I gotta admit, um, it's a good game. I wish I could say the same for you. On defense, we are once again starting out with the Overstorm Brave. In this defense, I have to use the running back instead of playing in the middle of the field like I want to. And on the first play, he beats me outside with Derrick Henry for a big play. So since I don't want to use her King Henry all game, I switched to the under smoke a lot quicker this time around. As this defense usually has a separate defender man to him while I can use her the linebacker. Sometimes though, this play will have whoever is man to the running back in a QB contain, which I think is a glitch that gives away the defense knows the running back isn't going out route and on the next play we stuff king henry for only a two yard gain to the outside with seven cornerbacks and safeties on the field on the next play he decides to pass and you can see that derrick henry has a defender man to him pre-snap so i don't have to worry about him once the play starts though i don't know what he saw Got he. but it looks like he threw it early as my safety jumps the route for an interception giving his ball at midfield i try to go back to the inside zone but he is now using the safety so that's done I see he is in cover three zone, so I switch to the drive H wheel because if you streak the X route, the corner route beats any zone. And since every play is going to the running back so far, he never saw this coming. On the next play, I see he's in a man zero, so I switch over to the sail and pivot, and Goddard is such a run after the catch monster that we are able to punch it in. Back on defense, I have two different blitz setups for this defense based on whether or not my opponent is blocking the running back. Since he is using the Titans, Henry has run her out every single time. So all I have to do is pinch the defense once again and bluff blitz one of the guards with the user middle linebacker and pressure is instant as we get a sack on first down. On second and 17, it's best to move in these blitzing cornerbacks, but I expect them to quick hike me. So I leave it alone and it still gets enough pressure to force an incomplete pass anyway. Woo! Then on 3rd and 17, he takes a shot, and the coverage is tight, but for some weird reason, instead of jumping or trying to tackle the receiver, I get some weird animation where Bradbury does neither, instead deciding to act like he got punched in the face by a ghost. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Giving up a touchdown and letting my opponent back into the game. That ghost has a name, and it's DDA. Back on offense, I go back to the inside zone, and even though it looks like he only has two defensive linemen, he is now miraculously doing a much better job at stopping my run game. On the next play, the coverage is tight, so I take off with Jalen Hurts. I decide to go for it on 4th and 2, and I see the same weak run defense, so I switch to the inside zone one more time. And now this defense is playing like the 85 Bears as he stops me short. <coughs> then on the next play, he hits me with a stretch run while I'm still setting up my defense. <laughs> And now I'm trying to cut off Derrick Henry with Fletcher Cox, my slowest defender on the field. I switch back to my 3-4 odd cut for quarters and I get him to a third and goal before my man defender gets roasted on a zig route to cap the short drive off to tie the game. He goes back to the defense formerly known as my bitch and stops me for a two yard loss as momentum is clearly in his favor. On third and 12, I try to pick up the first down with Jalen Hurts' legs as he definitely doesn't fumble the ball this much. He switches to the gun bunch, and since he only has one timeout and 50 seconds left, I decide to go full pass defense and blitz setup. I'm still going to pinch the defense as I always do, only this time I'm going to QB contain, which is hitting the right bumper twice. Then I'm going to guess pass, which will make all the blitzers go right for the quarterback. To guess pass, is hit RB, R1, then up on the right stick. I also use the defender man to the running back, and then I hover the guard pre-snap before dropping into coverage, so the linebacker can blitz as well. On the next play, the pressure gets in, and he lobs it up 
for what would have been a big play, only this time the Ghost of DDA doesn't step in, allowing my defender to actually play the ball. Isn't that amazing? On third and seven, I do the exact same setup, and so does he by motioning over to the same receiver. So this time, I do over-the-top coverage, just in case he's on that streak once again. And this time, he's in a zig, but the pressure gets in so fast that it doesn't matter. Woo! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! As the big man Fletcher Cox comes flying in for the ball like Tannehill dropped the cheeseburger, scoops it up, and has just enough stamina to take it to the house for the go-ahead score. He gets the ball back with 32 seconds left and comes out a two halfback set. I know he wants to go deep, so I don't press, instead electing to walk the blitzers down manually for better pass coverage. Then sure enough, he thinks he has a step, and maybe he did, but I switch on with big play Slay and box him out like a power four going for a rebound, and we are going the other way as we almost take it to the house for another score, instead getting inside the 10 yard line with plenty of time left. I don't want to waste time running, so I switch over to the Saints fork play, but he shuts down the first two plays as he must the faces play before as he is locking up my primary route. I run the same play and he is all over that route again with the safety so I hit the streaking tight end in a small window at the back of the end zone in the area that he left to take my two score lead back before half all thanks to this defense. In the second half for some reason I go back to the Overstorm Brave and he goes right back to Derrick Henry for the first so I go right back to the under smoke because I don't want to spend all game covering him and I can't help but notice he was pretty quiet when the computer was covering him from the under smoke as on the next play he once again comes out in a three tight end set to run a stretch and only get a few yards. Then on second and eight he comes out in an empty backfield look and tries to run a QB blast only to get blasted back to the original line of scrimmage. On third and ten, that pressure comes in from everywhere, forcing a quick throw over the middle gotcha, bitch. for a game-winning interception, as suddenly my opponent is having trouble with his internet provider. So that's that's the vid. Overall, a few short fields aside, I don't really think my opponents did very much against this defense, but try this defense out if you haven't already, and let me know in the comment section what you guys think. As always, if you guys want to see more defenses and gameplays like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, I'll have links to the offenses and run defense that I was using in this gameplay popping up on screen. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm sure it'll help out your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.